All right, hey, good morning, everybody. It's the pan fish guy and the mo fisher. We're gonna be doing some live scoping out here on uh, Crab Orchard Lake this morning. <clears throat> Donald's gonna learn the live scope, whether it kills him or not. On the uh, what you call it, uh, snowflake <clears throat> fish number one. Nice, nice sitting good, on the bank. Good start. Pink, pink flamingo. Pink. Pink and purple. Okay, welcome everyone. This is the Panfish Guy, and today we are going to be single pole jigging with live scope. I will note that I'm a, still a novice with live scope two years into it, and a Mo Fisherman, my partner today, is brand new to it. This ought to be entertaining with a novice teaching a newbie how to use it. We're starting to make a mess. We're targeting stake beds and artificial structure today using brush pile jigs. Popular baits today were the snowflake dart, the pink flamingo two inch little diver, and later on the disco silver dart. Hell, I just let you fill the bucket. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> so the fish seemed to like a, the bait swimming past the structure, so I was using a pendulum technique, tossing the bait past the target and letting it swim back over it, rather than dropping it straight into the, into the target and dead sticking the bait. She's trying to give you a lap dance. A boogie woogie. So I spent most of the morning helping Mo Fisher find the beam and getting him accustomed to how the screen grids work. I was doing a pretty good job of filling up the live well while, while I was at it. And Mo Fisher was struggling a little bit. I think he was getting a little bit frustrated. He also had a rod that apparently had some dry rotted braid spooled on it and he kept breaking off. He was missing a lot of fish, and let me tell you, there ain't nothing wrong with that guy's hook set. That's a good one. Check him out. I barely had him hooked to the top of the lip, too. Nice crab orchard slabby right there. Yes, sir.
Come on. Hit him, Donald. There you go. There you go. Get it, get it. So a little later in the day, he started to figure it out, and the fish were flying in the boat. I parked him right on top of a steak, steak bed full of fish, and he caught a few, but then he broke off again. So while he was goofing around retying, I was yanking fish off of it right and left. The next video, he is not going to be so nice to the fish, let me tell you. So we wrapped up today casting along the rocks on Highway 13, and we picked up a few more before we headed in. I think we had a total of 52 on the day. It was a great time. Until next time, guys. So that's going to do it for this episode, but make sure you check out the all-new My724Outdoors.com page. Hit up the forums and post your adventures. It's great stuff. And make sure you check out the socials at PanfishGuy on Facebook, Daniel Palmer 5623 on Instagram, at PanfishG on X, formerly known as Twitter, and my website, PanfishGuy.com. So kids, we're creeping up on 1,000 subscribers, so keep an eye out for a giveaway. And as always, please like, comment, and share. Please? It will really help out the channel. You know, one day I'm hoping that this channel will help pay for my fishing habit when I retire. Hey, knock it off.